Hey guys, how's it going? Nathan here from Revolution X Games, and today I'm going to be speculating on Borderlands 3. Now, if you don't already know, this channel is big with the Borderlands news, and we love the Borderlands franchise, and that's why I thought I'd do some speculating on Borderlands 3. Now, in the background, there will be some screenshots and gameplay of Borderlands 2, so if you played the game, you'll probably recognize that. And I'm just going to be talking about the playable characters, the NPC characters, and the story, and also the release date of this possible Borderlands 3. Now, obviously, I don't work for Gearbox, and none of this information is totally confirmed. I'm just going on what I believe and what I think this Borderlands 3 game will be about. Now, straight off the bat, in terms of characters, NPCs, I do think there is some characters that Borderlands 3 will involve that were in Borderlands 2 and Borderlands 1. Characters such as Scooter. Someone's got to deal with the transport, how to get around but Borderlands 3. We don't know if it's going to be on Pandora. It might be on a different planet. So, someone's going to have to transport you around that, and it's probably going to be Scooter, no doubt. Now no doubt characters such as Mox and Moxie will turn up in Borderlands 3 because Moxie is sort of a, she's always wanting to make money, she's got the bar and stuff and she's always wanting carnage and mayhem and she's a big character in Borderlands so no doubt she'll be in Borderlands 3. And then there's also Marcus, he's a gun seller, you're gonna need a gun seller and it's no doubt gonna be Marcus, he's been in Borderlands and no doubt he's gonna be in Borderlands 3. And then off the top of my head other characters that will be in Borderlands 3 no doubt would probably be the original Vault Hunters minus Roland for certain reasons, no spoilers. Uh, Tiny Tina, Dr. Zed, and no doubt Clatra. Now in terms of characters that I do not want to see return to Borderlands 3, just because I think they were good characters in Borderlands 2, but they're just not strong enough to return in Borderlands 3, and Borderlands 2, the kind of just gearbox have to just let these characters go, and we just I don't think we want to see them return at all. First off, it's Sir Hamlock. He's had, he's had his rounds in DLCs, and he was also a big part of the main game for Borderlands. Now, I don't think he's a strong character at all. I personally did not like him, and I don't think it's going to be good for him to be in Borderlands 3. Now if you do go to a different planet, maybe he could just kind of stay and explore Pandora, the first planet. Just explore that. He's a, I think he's, a, he's not a very strong character, he's not very funny at all. And he, I don't think he'll be good for Borderlands 3. Now a character I do not want to see back in Borderlands 3 is Handsome Jack. He was a great enemy in Borderlands 2, great character, and I really like fighting against him. But he's also been in a DLC, and I think that's just his time. I don't you don't want to bring back the enemy, you don't want to bring back an enemy that you killed in Borderlands 2 it's just going to get repetitive and we don't want to see him in Borderlands 3, a complete new enemy will be great now again off the top of my head just a few characters that they could also afford to leave behind will probably be Tannis, Angel, I know she's no spoilers, I know she's probably not around anymore but no, no need to mention her again and also Ellie and in terms of animals and creatures that you faced in Borderlands 2 them stalkers, they can just totally get rid of those, they piss me off to the maximum I would find it hard to find one person who actually liked those animals and creatures and just fucking get rid of them, they were terrible. Now I'm going to be talking about playable characters and these playable characters have to be new. There's the four main characters that you play in Borderlands 2 and the original four Vault Hunters. They can be in the game but we just don't want to play as them. Four fresh new playable characters. Now in Borderlands 2 some of the playable characters were kind of elaborated versions of the original Vault Hunters like you kind of had Salvador who was he was similar to Berserker in the first game, and then you had Axton who was similar to Roland where he throw, threw down a turret. Now in terms of these for Borderlands 3, just I think we should just totally forget those. No, don't make similar playable characters. They need to be fresh, they need to be completely new, and don't, we don't want to make this Borderlands 3 repetitive. We don't want another guy who has another turret. Yes, Axton was a good character and his turret was great, and so was Roland's turret, but do we want another one in Borderlands 3? I don't think that's the best route to go down. Now no doubt there'll be a siren in the playable characters, I agree that that's a good idea, all sirens are different, we've already seen three sirens, and there is a three other sirens, so keep that story in the game, and make sure that a siren is a playable character, I think that is a good idea, as sirens are really cool, and they do have very cool special abilities. Now I'm not even going to shed much of a light on Zero, if Gearbox are listening, do not make an elaborated version of Zero, he was bloody terrible, if anyone's played Borderlands 2, and you've played all the characters, you'll know that Zero is the crap character, he's proper shit. Do not make an elaborated version of this character. Okay, now I'm going to talk about story, and I'm going to try not to spoil anything about Borderlands 2, in case any of you guys haven't played the game. But then again, if you haven't played the game, I don't know why you listened this far into the video. Now, Borderlands 2, right at the very end, it sets you up perfectly for Borderlands 3. So no doubt, it's going to carry on from Borderlands 2. I would highly doubt a prequel. But then again, a prequel could be good, searching for the first ever vault. But Borderlands 2 sets it up perfectly for Borderlands 3. Now, it wouldn't surprise me if you completely left Pandora, and if you played the game, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's at the end, a lot of planets come up where vaults are, 
So if you're leaving Pandora, that would probably be the best route to go with the story. If you're staying on Pandora, I don't think that's a good idea as there's already been three vaults on Pandora. Now in terms of this new planet, I'm not sure what they could kind of put on this new planet. I'm not sure where they're going to go. With Pandora, we've kind of seen all all the sides to Pandora, the city sides and then also the the resort uh, the resort sides that look really nice and then also the the wet dirty forest areas that are just kind of the dark side of Pandora. Now in terms of story, and this is me just speculating, now we know a lot of people know about vaults and no doubt a lot of people know that there's multiple planets with vaults on them. So maybe the story could involve a race with you guys and different vault hunters and maybe you've got to kill off the different vault hunters to get to this vault first. I don't know, this is all speculation, I'm just saying this would be a good possible story. Now in terms of Borderlands 3 release date, we could see in my speculation a 2015 release date. Now the first game came out in 2009 and the second game came out in 2012. Now that is a three year gap. Now Gearbox, they have said that they are making some games and they have said that no it's not Borderlands 3. So there could be a big wait depending on who they have to work on Borderlands 3 but they also haven't confirmed it even yet. Now on my speculations I would say that we would see a teaser trailer or a little hint towards Borderlands 3 maybe it being just confirmed by the end of 2014. The end of this year I would say Borderlands 3 has been announced but maybe just saying yeah we're working on it it's not going to be coming out until maybe the end of 2015 the end the start of 2016 and then this leads me on to the release date they haven't even confirmed it yet so they also say not even working on it maybe they haven't even started thinking of ideas for Borderlands 3 so it could be late 2015 early 2016 or even late 2016 to be fair guys but yeah that's kind of all the speculating I have on Borderlands 3 if you guys want to drop a comment on what you guys think I'll be sure to read them and reply in the comment section below now, as soon as Borderlands 3 announced or any news is released, I'll be doing a video of it for sure. So don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe.